Hi fiends, welcome to What the Friday, a weekly segment where I tell you the three things I found in my research that made me say, What the Friday. First of all, if you are looking to murder someone, you should probably do it in Yellowstone National Park. Why, you ask? Well, there is a 50 square mile section in Yellowstone where one can get away with murder and other crimes. Brian Kelt, a Michigan State University law professor, discovered a loophole in 2005 while researching jurisdictions for his article. Yellowstone National Park, like all United States parks, is a federal is federal land. And if a person commits a crime there, it falls within federal jurisdiction. Under the Sixth Amendment, a person accused of a crime has the right to a jury trial. The panel must consist of residents from the state and federal district where the purported crime occurred. There is a stretch of 50 miles within Yellowstone that crosses parts of Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana. If someone were to commit a murder on this piece of land, the crime would take place in the state of Idaho, but under Wyoming's discretion. This portion of Yellowstone is unpopulated with no potential jury members living in the area. Therefore, no jury trial can take place. So in Yellowstone, in that little tiny section, you can literally get away with murder. Two. History's most well-known bank robbing lovers, Bonnie and Clyde, may seem like big personalities, but in reality, they were teeny tiny little people. Bonnie Parker came in at just four foot 11 inches and Clyde Barrow was just five three. Three. If you bought a burger at a roadside stand in Baltimore, Maryland in 1996, there is a chance you could be an unknowing cannibal. During that time, drug addict and serial killer Joe Metheny had a penchant for killing prostitutes, chopping them up, and storing the pieces in his freezer. But it wasn't long before he began to run out of room. So Joe, of course, did the most logical thing he could think of. Stop murdering people, you say? Oh, no, 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 no. He opened up a roadside burger stand, ground up his previous victims, mixed them with pork and beef, and served them up to hundreds of unknowing customers. And those are the three things I came across this week that made me say, what the Friday? See you next week.